Thank you, Speaker. My adjournment tonight is for the Minister for Housing. The action I seek is that the Minister confirm how many of the homes in the government's big housing build will be public housing. Like many people in Victoria, I was so pleased to see the government's commitment to a big build of social housing in yesterday's budget. It was good to see the government embark on a significant investment in our social and affordable housing system after the issue has hit a crisis point with over 100,000 people on the public housing waiting list. The announcement has come after years of campaigning by public housing residents, activists, the Greens, and I want to send a big shout out to all those, especially the public housing residents, the public housing residents and their allies in the community who have fought so hard to get housing to be at the top of the political agenda. We're really pleased to see the commitment to 12,000 new homes. We do have some questions about what kind of homes these will be and who will be able to access them. The announcement has mostly referred to social housing, an umbrella term used to refer both to public housing and community housing, and it's often used by governments to hide a failure to invest in public housing. And while our community housing sector has a really important role to play in our housing system, we're concerned that the government might shift responsibility for providing housing onto community organisations rather than acknowledging and embracing their own role as a housing provider. As we know, public housing comes with protections that community and private housing does not, including security of tenure, a guaranteed cap on rents at 25% of a tenant's income, and equitable access to housing based on need. And it's incredibly important that we significantly expand public housing across Victoria. There has been a lack of detail in the government's plan. Residents, the community and the Greens are worried that this announcement might look good but actually include a reduction or an only a very small increase in public housing as it is converted to community housing with fewer protections for residents. Many are also worried it could be privatisation by stealth and if this is the case it would be an abdication of the government's own responsibility to provide public housing. Because rather than committing to a big build of public housing, the government's big build appears to be centred around partnerships with the community and private housing sectors. Now, we don't want to see the public housing system get left behind again. And we don't want to see a repeat of the disastrous public housing renewal program, which initially would have delivered a reduction in public housing beds, or worse, the redevelopments in Kensington and Carlton, where public housing land was sold off to developers for a tiny fraction of the market value. The government really needs to ensure that new homes created under this big housing build are public housing. And I ask the Minister to confirm how many of these new 12,000 new homes will be public housing for public tenants.